guys, welcome back. Um, this weekend we are heading out to the farm and I've got my stepson with me this weekend. We're going to shoot some guns. I just got my gun license, that's pretty exciting. So I've been asked to kind of do another vlog for you guys this weekend and just kind of film the shooting and just kind of some of the activities that we're going to be up to this weekend and take you through the weekend with me. So we shall get started. Time to go tobogganing. We are on our way to Tom and Jessica's in Gainsboro, and we are going to visit them for the evening. Uh, Xander's at home sleeping. He was kind of in a grumpy mood, but we're going to go see Tom and Jess and their little daughter, Elizabeth. So I'm excited to go see her, and we'll tune back in soon. Girl working there, Come here, and she said the tail wasn't clean yet, so the sheet we were waiting for her to clean the tail. She's like, Okay, you sit Come down. Come here. <laughs> oh my god, okay, we get don't be shy. Like, what, do you, what do you want to drink and eat? Like, uh, buffet, and I'll have Come here, stinker. Okay, she's coming up my arm. She's like, You drink now. Like, oh, Give me a five. Give me a five. Five. Do a chicken pooper. <laughs> don't I say, Auntie? <laughs> say, frog. Frog. frog? You say frog? She's got the blanket in her mouth. <laughs> say frog. Say frog? Say frog. Go, 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 come here. Come sit beside me. <laughs> Am I scary? <laughs> Good morning. It is now Saturday. Um, I didn't film too much last night. It was pretty late. And we were getting pretty tired, but we did enjoy our visit with Tom and Jess and Elizabeth. So it's now Saturday morning, and we're just waking up. So I'm going to go get ready for the day, go have some breakfast, and then hopefully go shoot some guns today. I can hear the birds chirping outside, the sun is shining. I mean, it's still winter here, and there's still snow on the ground, but it's supposed to be about plus two today, so we're hoping for a bit of a warmer afternoon. So we'll go do that. Trying to find the cats in the barn. <laughs> They're hiding. We are now going to go shoot the guns and we're going to set up some targets. I think we're just going to use some pop cans and milk jugs and cardboard. Uh, no gophers out in the field yet as the field is still covered in snow and I'm not going to shoot birds or any other type of wildlife. So we're just going to use some practice targets to sight in the guns. The struggle is real. <laughs> there you go. Yes or no? So, Tyson went tobogganing this morning with Xander and he decided to go down the hill himself. He hit a ramp at the bottom, a pile of snow that had turned into ice overnight, and flipped off of it, landed on his left arm behind his back, 
Um, he hurt himself pretty bad. He's got some skin missing and uh, he's been in pain for the last three or four hours. We've elevated his arm, we've put compression on it, he's taken Tylenol, we've put a tensor bandage on. So uh, he's not feeling the greatest. So I'm actually in the car, we're just getting gas right now. We're driving about 45 minutes to Oxbow to the closest hospital because we are kind of in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so there's no doctors on site but there is some nurses. We called ahead of time and told them what happened. They told us to come down and they would evaluate him and if he needed to go for x-rays they would call a lab tech in to take x-rays. So fingers are crossed he's not too badly hurt. We're hoping it's just a sprain, maybe a mild fracture but if something is worse then we'll have to get that looked at. So wish us luck. No cameras. What happened? You're an asshole. <laughs> Did you have x rays? Yes. Yes. And? Probably broken. Yay. You should clap for that. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Tyson. Just got out of the hospital. And Tyson broke his wrist. <laughs> He's not very happy. At least it's blue, and he has to keep it for three weeks. <laughs> morning, guys. It is Sunday morning. Sorry for the bedhead here. It's the farm life. Um, we got home late last night from Tom and Jessica's. We went to visit them again, and we went to the Gainsborough Bar just for some apps and supper. So it was a good night. We had some other friends come over and visit. Um, Tyson's in his cast, so he's been in pain, and we both have been up since 6.30 in the morning. We haven't slept well. He doesn't sleep well, which means I doesn't. I don't. So um, I wanted to shoot some guns again today. Obviously Tyson can't because he's in his cast. But he's outside setting up some targets for me. We got some tin cans this time. And I just kind of wanted to show you the guns that we're going to be shooting. So yesterday I was shooting um, a single bolt rifle, which was my 22. And this is just what it looks like here. So the shells for these are just really small little shells. They're just a rim fire. And then later on... We're going to be shooting this gun here, which is a 223. Quite a bigger bullet for this one. Um, this is more better for like coyotes. It's going to be a lot louder. There'll be a slight more of a kickback, but it shouldn't be too bad. So there are the tin cans Tyson set up to shoot, which I will probably miss. And then we're just shooting the small 22. So hopefully I hit the target. <laughs> just shot my first shot. Tyson told me to hit the top can. And you can see the hole right there where I hit it and I knocked it over. So, yay! And we'll, we'll try again. Oh, I missed! Try again. Got it! Tyson's attempting to shoot a 25 on 6 using the deck for support because of his cast. <laughs> I have no idea what this thing's up for. That was really loud and hurt my ears. <laughs> so Tyson is now shooting a 223. And I don't know how loud this is going to be. This is the one that's good for like coyotes. That was freaking loud! <laughs> oh, my ears! I think I'm just gonna stick with my single shot 22 for today because I don't have earplugs and that is really loud. <laughs> hey guys, that first shot was only at 16 yards. We have now almost doubled that. We're up to 30 yards and I can still hit that top can. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was at 30 yards. I did fairly well. And that's about your average distance that I would be shooting a gopher at. So my gun is now sighted in. I'm pretty proud of myself. I can actually aim and shoot the target. And so we're just going to finish up shooting a couple more rounds for a few hours. And then we'll be heading back home later today. We'll have to drop Xander off back at his mom's. And then we'll have to hit up Walmart and do some grocery shopping and 
shower and all that good stuff that we do on a Sunday night to get ready for the work week. So I'm going to stop vlogging for the weekend here. I hope you guys enjoyed the little mini vlog I did throughout the last three days. And uh, yep, we will just talk to you guys next time. I'm going to go have some more fun. See you guys. Bye.